In today's video, we're gonna take a look at a new add-on called Atmospheric Smoke Alliance. It was developed by Light Architect, who makes a lot of tutorials about VFX and Blender. So if you are interested in that, you will find a lot of great tutorials. This in addition to having numerous other add-ons that are worth checking out, like Spiderfy, Horde, and City Builder 3D. Anyways, this new add-on contains over 50 elements divided into four different categories, including lingering fog, upward steam loops, heavy steam plumes, and low steam loops. This will actually give you a wide range of options to choose from. Whether it is a moody alleyway or a futuristic city, this add-on can get you covered. On a side note, if you are curious, all the assets are optimized to be used in both EV and Cycles, which is great since they are the default render engines of Blender and you can only add fog in cycles, it is very hard to achieve it in EV. Also, this add-on overlays fog and steam elements with pre-keyed alphas, giving you full control over density. This is actually a small feature in the add-on, but it is necessary in my opinion. In addition, from what I can see, in the atmospheric add-on, all the fog assets are animated, and they are perfectly looped, making this add-on the perfect choice if you ever need fog in animations. By the way, all the fog assets are shot on red digital cameras, making the elements of high quality, which makes it able to be used in important projects. The add-on is actually very simple to use, and I think anyone can use it, even beginners, because it doesn't have any complicated buttons or settings or anything like that. You just need to choose which fog category you need, and then you will see all the fog assets that are available in that category. Now you can select and add it to your environment, and after that, you can drag it and move it around to any place you want. To be honest, there are a lot of add-ons that can create fog and stuff. Most of them are actually great, and they can do a really good job. However, I think Atmospheric stands out a bit and brings new things to the table. I mean its features and the assets it brings, allowing you to create some beautiful atmospheres in your projects, which cannot be found in other add-ons or packs. My overall experience using the add-on was great, and I was actually trying to find out some drawbacks about the add-on, but fortunately from what I can see, there aren't any that I can't talk about. And the great thing about it is that it is really simple, and it does a simple but important task, and it does it very efficiently. And this is what we need from add-ons, to be simple, useful, and efficient. In a nutshell, the atmospheric smoke element add-on is great, and it helps to work on different projects especially exterior projects, so I think it is worth the price point because it contains numerous high quality fog assets that can easily take your project to the next level. So make sure to check it out and maybe use it on your own projects and share what you create with us. So guys, if you are interested in this add-on, you will find all the necessary links in the description. I hope you guys found this video useful and informative, if you did, please give it a thumbs up. You can also check some of our previous videos. Thank you very much for watching and I will see you in the next one.